Yeah, because for us, to pretty much the dunk is our own original silhouette. Yeah. It's made from scratch. Uh, a lot of the other sneaker designers, like we, we would have been happy if we could just even have our own colorway. I feel like that's every sneaker designer's dream with Nikes to just have a colorway. Like if they could just change the swoosh to a specific color I want. They'd be happy, right? They're I'll like, be oh happy. My God, I but did the it, fact I did it, I did that it. they allowed us to have our own silhouette is insanity. Like it's a huge dream but come true. Why wouldn't yeah. they? Like, look at the results. Look at like <laughs> that, like that silhouette of that dunk is needed now because it's really beautiful and the the results spoke for itself. So, what was that process like to get your own silhouette? Let's talk about that. Yeah. So, like, we entered Nike coming from our like bootstrap way. So, when we first joined, I kind of took lead to for figure out how do we make shoes, and you can't make shoes without your own product development team. So we had people there supporting us who built us a killer team of amazing people who have been at Nike for a long time. And when we had that team, we just got straight to work. And looking back at it now, we've released over 40 unique pairs of shoes. We had the space wow. strips, we had the 10 Air Force oh, Ones, nice. we had the Crypto Kicks and now the Dunk. And they've all been adding up. And what we've actually brought a huge innovation to Nike is using the pipeline that Chris created using 3D we were able to shorten the sampling process, which usually can take anywhere over a year to less than six months. And it's huge impact for the future of Nike. And another thing we're super proud of is we have NFC tags and they're the first NFCs that actually can provide authentication. So we've found a way to have a digital item that has its own experience and utility, but you're able to scan the shoe, connect your digital to the physical product and it adds a whole new layer of provenance and kind of the utilities that we see with NFTs but with a real life item and I think over time that's going to become the norm with like digital fashion. 